potatoes gonna potate, taters gonna tate, and haters gonna hate. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a reaction video. There's three reasons why I'm doing this. Number one, because I really like Jubilee. I'm going to be reacting to a Jubilee video and I've been watching Jubilee for years. And so I decided, you know, why not? The second reason, which basically I, I wanted to do reaction videos for a long time. So it ties into the first reason of why not use Jubilee to react to as my beginning of reacting to videos. I really like reaction videos. I myself like to, I'm a big reactor watching things. I verbally process things when I watch movies. I talk a lot. That's just, that's just how I am. Um, so I thought, why not do reaction videos? I really enjoy that. And then third thing, uh, PewDiePie. I love PewDiePie. He's one of my favorite YouTubers and he reacts to videos a lot and especially to Jubilee videos so I'm not trying to be like PewDiePie I'm not trying to copy PewDiePie but I decided if I'm gonna do reaction videos why not start with Jubilee? He's actually a big encourager and a big motivator of mine of um, why I'm now gonna be doing reaction videos um, because watching him, seeing how much I enjoy his reaction videos I thought, you know, I can do this too uh, it's something I really wanted to do so it, it makes me, I'm happy that I get to watch his videos that he does these reaction videos and that it's encouraged me to start making these videos that I, I know I'll love so with that Let's get started. Six makeup artists versus one fake. Um, I'm not a big makeup person. I suck at doing makeup. I don't wear makeup. I've rarely ever worn makeup. I have a ton of makeup gifted to me um, by people, but it's going to waste and going bad and collecting bacteria, probably, maybe, I don't know, um, because I'm not using it because I don't, I don't do makeup. But with that, let's, let's see how well what I do, I guess. Or how well can I judge people? Um, so yeah, let's get started. Who's a makeup artist off the top of your head that you like? Maybe not idolize, but you look up to? Be Neil. Manny. Thanks. <laughs> that was amazing. We brought together seven makeup artists. I am a makeup artist. I'm a makeup artist. I am a makeup artist. I'm a makeup artist. I'm a makeup artist. I'm a makeup artist. I am a makeup artist. One is a liar. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives, they win the entire prize. Who is the odd one out? I was just like staring at everyone, trying to see who was staring at each other. And I was like kind of confused at first. I don't like that they're doing a silent round. Um... I don't know how I would do with the silent round uh, because I feel like it's just there to encourage people to judge a book by its cover. So I think that's kind of strange, uh, Jubilee. I don't know what you're doing with this. I don't know what your intention was with this, but um, I don't know. It seems kind of harsh. First of what was going on. I kind of assumed that everybody would be coming in with a full face of makeup. So when Aldrich came in and he didn't have any specific eye look, I'm kind of thinking, huh, maybe he doesn't really do makeup. But see, that makes people go off of stereotypes. That's still stereotypical to think that a person who doesn't come in with makeup, right, is not gonna be a makeup person. I would rather show up there with no makeup on my face and try to pass as the makeup person and try to do makeup on my face that looks good. Um, and showing up there with pathetic looking makeup and then people can really single me out right away. Also like if you're gonna go by the stereotype, um, that person with the orange face is like super orange, like that would stand out to me a lot and I'd be like, mmm, the makeup doesn't look very good because they're so orange, it looks like a bad suntan job or something. I felt like everyone was going to eliminate me right away just because I was definitely a bit extra. To me, it didn't really seem like a professional. It seems like someone who's just trying to experiment with everything that they had in their kit. Yeah, but see, that's kind of rude because 
not to be rude, but you know, their face is so orange. That's sad that she got she got chosen. Literally, imagine going into silent round and getting picked out just by your like voted out just because of your appearance, just because people think you look ridiculous, I guess, with your makeup because they think that oh, like it looks like a tacky job or like a beginner you like you did like stencils or something or you know what this person said so that's kind of sad imagine being voted out on a silent round that that's sucky oh okay bye guys <laughs> i felt so sad being the first person eliminated i don't know what it was i'd like to know <laughs> have any of y'all worked with celebrities no. I have well, not. Influencers. Influencers. Influencers? Not. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I've never worked with a celebrity. Oh, okay. Who have y'all worked with? Not everybody like, knows her, but her okay. name's Yvette. She, she has followers. Okay. Yeah, like okay. about a million. So most oh, of you guys okay. are like YouTube. I FX. just do makeup, like no YouTube or anything okay, like okay. that. So, gotcha, I mostly okay. work with like exotic dancers and stuff. Cute. Oh. It says no YouTube, like working with YouTubers is a bad thing. What? Yeah. Oh, cool. I do like weddings, stuff like that. So if people have events where they can reach out to me and have me go there, then that's what I do. I hate bridal. <laughs> <laughs> I get this. That was really awkward. Um, she literally said like, my whole job is working with brides and stuff and wedding people. And then she's just like, I hate bridal. That's so rude. And then she just awkwardly like, ha ha ha, okay. I would vote for her after that comment. What's like the average price of like a, a makeover if someone just wanted like a natural glam? I do it depends on the project. Yes. I was gonna yeah. say like a hundred yeah. plus fifty dollar kit fee. Okay. I'll yeah. give you a number, maybe like mm, two hundred plus a hundred dollar kit fee. Okay. Yeah, that's come on. What I was. So I charge two hundred. Just flat. Whatever yeah, two hundred. But after that, depending on how long it takes, oh. I'll charge extra per hour. And you oh. just do beauty. Yeah, pretty okay. much. I wanted to sound more legitimate but that doesn't really make sense. That would be like a long time doing somebody's makeup. Who's a makeup artist off the top of your head that you like? No offense, but her makeup looks like she has a bruise on the inside of her, where her eye and her nose is. Maybe not idolize, but you look up to. v Manny. <laughs> that was amazing. For myself, probably like Kevin Aquan. Okay. I love Kevin Aquan. Okay. Michelle Fawn kind of raised me, so I, I gotta give oh, it to Michelle. Yeah. I'm really big in like YouTube and like online, okay. so I really like Nikki Tutorials. I was suspicious of Alice because she was eyeballing me since I came in. When she mentioned anything about like YouTube, I was like, oh, okay. There's like some <laughs> issues. Yeah, but see that shows that like, when people mention YouTube and they're on YouTube and doing YouTube for whatever, like makeup, uh, gamer, you know, whatever, people immediately assume, oh, that's not professional. Oh, that's not, that's not high end. Oh, that's not, you know, that's not real. That's not a real thing, not a real job, right? I guess that might go because so many people these days are on YouTube and making money off of YouTube and stuff, but that doesn't mean that she's not a professional makeup artist just because she's on YouTube with you know people's backgrounds so like it's hard to separate the art <laughs> and the person you gotta shut up now i was gonna change it i stuck with my first guess she didn't get voted out in the first round so i just voted for her again bye guys bye, bye girl I'm feeling sad, but not super surprised. I think that the tension got to me. All right, if you want to continue playing, please raise your hand. Look at their faces. They look pissed. They all look so mad. Literally every single one of them. The guy in the colorful jacket looks sad. The person in brown jacket's like... And then the lady on the end is like smirking. And all of them have their hands weirdly placed like this, you know? Like, that's so weird. <laughs> These people don't seem nice. This is the eye makeup challenge. You guys will have three minutes to put on makeup on our model, Darren. We will start off with Nikki. Can I hold the products? Sure, you can hold okay. the product. <laughs> <laughs> right, how do you press one? 
You know, we would never normally use a liquid liner on somebody. <laughs> I knew I was gonna get called first too, so I definitely had a lot of pressure put on me in that. I'm gonna have you match me. All right, the black is not pigmented at all. Okay. Cute. <laughs> Honestly, that didn't look good. <laughs> that would have... I think that's what I could do. For today, if you can just look down for me. Okay, and if you can look up for me. Cute with the etiquette throw in, though. I should have asked if you were allergic to anything, but oh well. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just pack on more color. Honestly, that looks pretty good, but again, I feel like if he was a makeup artist, he could have done both eyes. He only did one eye, which is okay. And I know we only have three minutes, but I just want to see more from him. I have a glow. You see, that's what I'm saying is like, you would expect if they're a makeup artist, you know, they could do it quicker. I came ready. My time's not going okay. <laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> I told y'all I work with dancers like they give me 30 seconds to do their makeup. And I <laughs> The underneath part of his eye looks really weird, but the top looks really good. That's good. Bentley killed it. I think I did the best. I think I did amazing. Time, George, will be a makeup artist today. So what do you do in your spare time? <laughs> <laughs> do you model often? You have a gorgeous skin. What is your skin prep like? Water. Just, just water? <laughs> what do you think? Water, water and soap. soap. You know, like, <laughs> that's it, I'm done. Okay, do you mind if I use my fingers on your face? Okay, I'm gonna try to see if I can pick up some more pigment. I don't think that looks very good. I don't like the inside. It's also messed up on the right side, but. Okay, so I'm gonna go for like a cute little graphic moment. So, a little tapping motion, you know? That's how you apply some shadow. Try to outline this with the liner. Well, my hand is shaking, so. Oh, you're giving it. Mm -hmm. That was really good. It's very uneven. Her the outlining that she did and the way that she was like moving and grabbing things and she said she was shaking and the way that she was applying it on. I don't know. Looks like other people that I know that are not makeup artists and that are kind of panicking looks like me and not how I would have panicked. I felt like that was like a good choice to do something graphic. I don't know if maybe I did the worst because I was panicking. Uh, to get rid of the competition. We have a tie between Aldrich and George. Period. That means we're going into a tiebreaker. Each of you is going to get 20 seconds to state your case. So we'll start with Aldrich. I'm a makeup artist. I've been working for uh, since 2015. I started at a haunted house, starting doing special effects makeup, and then I decided to perfect my craft, moved here, and then started freelancing. I've been working with OnlyFans people, so I've worked with Bella Thorne, Tyler Posey, Pia Mia, Kid Quill, and I'm still trying to build up my portfolio, but I'm a makeup artist. So when I was growing up, it wasn't cool to be a makeup artist, so throughout my time and age, I had to originally paint my face inside of my um, room. And as I got older, I uh, learned through YouTube and um, all of my my friends who are makeup artists and it's really a creative outlet for me. I love being able to create a new face for myself and other people. I love challenges. I love all uh, facets of the makeup artist. And I'm a makeup artist. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. 
we love you. We love you. We love you. I'll see you on set. <laughs> What's your favorite part about being a makeup artist? Mine is making people happy and making them look like something that they never imagined they could be. I like giving people confidence that they don't think they have. Kind of building their confidence, confidence as well, but just kind of like making their day. Because like sometimes just talking to them and not even besides the makeup helps build their day and you know. Like a little therapy session. Yeah, exactly. I'm a color theory snob, so I love anything yeah. as far as like blending. That's why even like clean skin is my go to. And a bitch just likes to create weird shit. Oh my God, I'm cursing so much. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, 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 teacher. My <laughs> okay, so yeah, can them all raise their hand? Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> That's the sad part. Now, like, now we have to vote someone else, so it's like. But I know they're gone. It's too know, late. We already, we already told them it was the next round. Again, I'm so sorry. Like, I love you. Like, can we be friends on Instagram, please? Okay. Bye. We love you, bro. We love you. So please raise your hand if you want to continue playing in three, two, one. If the light turns green, that means you have voted out the mole and you win. If the light turns red, that means the mole is still in the box and you lose. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes! Okay! Yes! yes! Thank you yes! so much! Oh my goodness! So <laughs> I had doubts on you. I was so nervous. Will the mole please step forward and reveal yourself in three, two, one? Sorry, guys. <gasps> I knew it that that was them. I knew it that they were the mole. I could tell by the the orange. It was so orange. Yes, I did it. Did it. I Okay, so what it. do you do? Because I, I had like it. had a moment. Oh I knew it. I knew it. You guys, normally I'm what you paint. Did you do your makeup this morning? No, one of my girlfriends did. I but I can do makeup, but nothing like you guys. You guys are amazing. I was obsessed with your eyes. Obsessed with your eyes. Obsessed with your uh -huh. <laughs> Makeup artists are the best people in the world, and everybody that we had here today I could honestly say could beat my face. Honestly, they gave themselves away by saying that they grew up doing makeup through YouTube, like learning how to do makeup from YouTube and stuff and from their friends and stuff. That was like my second dead giveaway other than their first dead giveaway of literally the orange on their face is so strong. It was so much fun. I feel amazing. I thought I was going to be the first one out because I didn't have any makeup on. And I was like, these people are going to hate me. But no, I'm happy I won. Yeah, honestly, the intern didn't look very happy. Uh, he looked kind of uncomfortable. I would have been uncomfortable people touching me like that. Yeah, it makes sense that the mole... Aldrich would literally be the last person I'd pick because the mole for sure is gonna wear makeup. Yeah, that makes sense. You should do an odd one out but with body language experts. That sounds interesting. Yeah, yeah, see, George literally gave himself away during his 20 seconds of defending his case, saying he has been doing his own makeup since he was young, learning from YouTube and all his friends be being a makeup artist. Of course it was him, yeah, see? Honestly, that made, made made a lot of sense. Anyways, thanks guys for watching. Um, hope you liked this, and let me know if you want me to do more of these reaction videos.